I think sharing the experience of sleeping in a palace Pullman car that Teddy Roosevelt sat in is a historic moment that really brings history alive. I'm Mark Wieser and I'm one of the owners of the Four Sixes uh, Private Pullman Palace car and welcome aboard. The 1894 Private Pullman Palace car is a one bedroom, bed and breakfast. It has a living room, it has two baths, it's got its own gallery and it has a small nook for breakfast. I mean the fact that you step up into a train and open the doors, you can see the different renovation periods throughout the train because a train was like someone's house. So if you're today, if you're very wealthy, you would never think about taking a car like this, but that's what people had to travel with and that's how the wealthy traveled. That car was the equivalent of today's private jet. Many uh, wealthy businessmen had private railroad cars. They were a luxury means of conveyance and business travel and the height of, of luxury transportation in that day. Staying in the train is pretty unique because just to have one in, in good condition is pretty amazing in itself. Starting the Peach House in 1969, I wanted a really unique place out of which to sell peaches. So I didn't want just a peach stand, I wanted something different. And so that's how I got the Lone Star Brewery Warehouse. We moved it out, I think in 74, and that's been a peach house ever since. I started hiring a lot of kids, and one of the kids I hired was Case Fisher. And his senior year, he came to my office, he said, you know, I think we can do something with these jams and jellies. I never thought I would still be here 40 years later, but Mark was like a second father to me. I knew Mark's mother and sister and watched them make jellies, and so to see someone growing a fruit and turning it into a product and see people coming in and buying that product, that's really special. One thing that people really enjoy when they come out to Das Peach House is to grab a bottle of wine and they head out to the lake and just have a great time. I've had people spend six hours sitting at the lake eating roasted raspberry and drinking wine. So it's a lot of fun and it's a place to come for sure. Picking unique locations to stay when you go somewhere I think is a real important thing. Certainly you can stay at a hotel or motel, but staying somewhere like the train that we have is pretty unique. This one was owned at one time by Burke Burnett who owned the Four Sixes. Burke Burnett invited President Roosevelt to go on a hunting trip. They were hunting wolves and coyotes. The other thing that drew Teddy Roosevelt to Texas was the news of two brothers. They were world famous for catching wolves by hand. And Teddy Roosevelt asked if he could see that. When we bought the 1894 private Pullman car, we had no idea about the wolf hunt. Learning all that kind of opened my doors to doing more research and finding out that it really was true, that those things had really happened. I also went online on eBay and started buying things on the QAP, that's the Quanah, Acme and Pacific Railroads. I found little pins, I found posters, I found stamps that had commemorated all of that. And so I brought all those things in to give the car a little more of a feeling of the era uh, with Roosevelt and the Rough Riders and the Wolf Hunt. Fredericksburg has a small town feel even though it has millions of tourists that come every year still. But when you come on out to Blue Moon Ranch, um, you can trail ride on Kilpin Rescue Horses. Um, we like to share a cowboy lifestyle with everybody and you get to see what it's all about. city you're not going to be able to have a horse but that's okay you can borrow mine for a couple hours and feel like they're your own everyone really connects with the horses there's just something majestic and beautiful about them you know cowboys are a lot of what founded the united states we sort of embody the freedom 
that we have here in the U.S. Um, also, you know, the toughness. We're taking the cowboy lifestyle to the 21st century. I think that that's the most important takeaway of Fredericksburg, Texas. It's all about the tenacity and the desire to be free. That's something that we should never take for granted. But there's a certain feel of community in Fredericksburg, even though we get one and a half million visitors a year. As the city comes around us, we'll probably be that little farm in the middle of Fredericksburg in the next 50 years. So that's just the way we'd like to keep it.